Hello friends, dynamic compression plating has been used in diaphyseal fractures whenever you are planning for absolute stability. And when absolute stability is aimed, you need perfect reduction. You want the fracture margins to be fully approximated towards each other. Only then they will be healing by cutting cones and there will be no callus formation. But often the residents are concerned regarding the technique by which they can gain maximum compression. While with conventional technique, you can gain compression of around one millimeter. There is a simple technique by which you can almost double the compression. That means you can gain compression two millimeter. So in today's video, I will be showing you that technique only. So here you see, I have just taken these two saw bone models, which are replicating a fracture where the gap is almost two millimeter. So by using the dynamic compression plating principle, I will be showing you how to gain two millimeter compression. So here the gap is obvious. Most of the plate available these days are locking compression plates. That means they have mode of locking as well as compression plating. So here, so that everyone remains familiar with this technique, I will be using this locking compression plate. So the plate is centered over the fracture side first. Then you can place two clamps on either side. Like here you can place a clamp or here you can place a clamp. Then you have to first place the centric screw or a neutral screw on any side. If you are putting the screw in the locking hole, that is going to be a centric screw only or a neutral screw only. So either you can place a locking screw here or you can place a centric screw inside the cortical screw hole. So for everyone's convenience, I will be putting a centric cortical screw. So if you see the circle of the cortical screw hole, the center will be lying somewhere here. It is away from the margin of this hole. It is coming here. Then you have to drill the hole with the specific drill bit meant for the cortical screw. So here we are drilling this marked area and we have placed a centric hole away from the margin. Even if it is not away from the margin, there is no issue because ultimately it is going to come in the central part of this hole. You have to try it towards the central part, but even if you are erring on any side, doesn't matter because ultimately the plate will position itself so that the screw head engages inside the central part of this hole. You have to use the centric part of the drill sleeve, which is available with the instrumentation. Here the screw has been put and it has been fully tightened like this. So the gap is still there. It will persist unless we do something here. Now, since we are planning for two millimeter compression, we have to place two cortical screws on the eccentric side, but it's not straightforward. First screw has to be placed here. So you have to use the eccentric mode of the drill sleeve. The arrow has to point towards a direction of fracture. Only then the sleeve will center in the eccentric position. So ultimately you have to drill near the edge of the plate hole. So here is the edge and we are going to drill in this area. So drilling has been done here. The hole has been created and it's very close to the edge of the hole. That means the metallic edge of the plate hole. Now we are putting the screw. You see the screw shaft is very close to the metallic edge of the hole. It is not in the central part as we had done here. So you see what is going to happen. The moment the screw head is going to sit over the slanted area of the plate hole, the plate is going to migrate towards this side. And when this plate migrates, there will be compression at this stretch side. This neutral screw is going to pull the plate along with the other fragment. So this fragment is going to migrate towards this fragment because the plate is going to move in this direction. You see what is going to happen. We are tightening the screw and with tightening, you see what is happening. This fragment is migrating towards this fragment. You see here. We are tightening, we are tightening and you see some compression has been achieved, which is approximately one millimeter. You see here. So earlier the gap was like this. You see the difference. The gap was like this. And the moment the screw gets engaged inside the hole, or you can say the screw head and gets engaged inside the hole, there is good compression. So still we are left with one millimeter gap and we want to place another screw to get this gap corrected. So what you need to do again, you have to place the drill bit in the eccentric direction. That means away from the fracture side, or you have to use the sleeve, which is pointing towards the fracture side. By that, you will be able to place the drill bit close to the metallic edge of the screw hole. So we are going to do this. And again, you see the screw hole is close to the metallic edge. It is not coming here. It is coming on the eccentric side. So again, I'm showing you the metallic edge. 
and the screw hole. The hole that we have drilled is almost along the metallic edge of the screw hole. You see, we are placing the screw, but before putting the screw fully inside the hole, you have to stop. You have to stop before the head gets engaged inside the slot. And the moment you have placed half of the screw, you have to loosen the head of the screw. So at this moment, we are going to loosen the head of the screw so that the head of this screw is not inside the slot. After doing this, we have to tighten this screw fully. See what is going to happen. So we are tightening the screw and see the fracture side is again getting approximated. You see, I'm tightening it, tightening it, tightening it, and the fracture gap is getting reduced. So earlier the gap was like this, like this, and now after tightening the screw completely, the gap has been reduced to almost nil. This is a saw one model, so some irregularity at the fracture margin is there, but actually the fracture is compressed fully. So you have gained a 2 mm compression by using this technique. I have just removed this screw to show you how the hole has migrated. Earlier we had drilled this hole close to the metallic edge. But the moment we tightened this screw, this hole has migrated away from the metallic edge. Or you can say the plate has migrated away from the hole which we had drilled earlier. Because ultimately the compression screws are pulling the plate towards the fracture side. So this is the neutral screw and the plate is being pulled towards this fragment the moment we are tightening these screws. The second screw tightening has brought this screw hole towards the neutral position. So we have gained 1 mm compression extra by putting this screw. The order of putting these two screws can be changed like you can place this screw first followed by this screw but the principle has to be similar that means you have to place both the screws eccentrically you have to loosen the first screw before tightening the second screw. So I hope this method is clear you know how to get 2 mm compression by using two cortical screw techniques you have to loosen this screw first before tightening the screw and that will bring a good compression. If you have any queries you can just ask those in comments thank you.